Okay, today we're back. Uh, I got another party paintbrush today. This is a little bit thicker than the one I was using yesterday. It's got an angle on it. Um, you just want to make sure you're using your good party brushes. Uh, get that perfect amount of paint on the brush. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, start cutting these tops. I'm going to mow the grass. I'm going to go exactly the same direction that I went yesterday, starting over here and go all the way around the room. So uh, starting out, now we'll get you a nice step stool. Um, you know, something, something good. Get a good amount of paint on there. We're going to put the excess paint two to three inches away from whatever it is we're painting. Flex into the corner and come down. So we got a nice thick cut line. It's right up on the uh, right up on the ceiling there. And we'll go ahead and add a little bit here. But uh, make it nice and round. Help your rolling man out. That's basically what you're doing as a cut man. You're getting everything that the rolling man can't get, and you are um, getting the details. You know the surroundings of everything. So. Again, put our excess two to three inches away, come back down. The benefit of using this big paintbrush is it holds so much paint. So when you get comfortable, I would recommend training on a smaller brush. And when you get comfortable, move to a bigger brush so you can hold more paint and therefore get more done faster, um, more efficiently. Um, so boom, that quick, that quick, we got a few feet cut in. Uh, nice and good. So, I'm gonna come on down, move, move whatever it is you're standing on, get back up there, um, and keep rolling with it. 